Welcome to day 13. We are in the middle of the second week of the spiritual exercises where we accompany Christ in his entire life. We've been through the Annunciation, the Nativity, the hidden life of Christ and the baptism and temptation of Jesus. Today we see the beginnings of his ministerial life as we reflect on the call of St Peter. Today's verse is found in Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. After he had finished speaking, Jesus said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signalled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that they were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him.
It is not an accident that Peter chose to follow Jesus on the very day that started out as the worst day of his fishing career, but ended up as his best. There is good evidence that Peter knew Jesus before this day. Capernaum was a very small town and it seems as though Jesus had been there for a while. Peter likely already knew Jesus but it was on this day that Peter chose to leave everything and follow him. This has an important message embedded in it for us and for Father Mark, who suggests it is when our nets are empty that Christ can do his greatest work for us. It is when we are completely empty, when we are spent, that Christ can fill up our lives and do wonders. It is when we feel like a complete and utter failure that Jesus can lead us to an abundant catch in our own life. Corrie ten Boom once said, We do not know that Jesus is all we need until Jesus is all we have. For St Peter on that day, Jesus was all he had. He had no fish, he had no skills. He was having a very bad day in his career. Jesus was all he had, and he learned that day that Jesus was all he needed. When Father Mark first started high school teaching as a 23-year-old Jesuit, he was only a few years older than his students, and that first year was really rough. He recalls, I hadn't a clue as to how to discipline those adolescent boys, and there were days when my class descended into mayhem. It was the most traumatic experience of my life up to that time. I was about five years a Jesuit, and everything had gone successfully for me up to that point. And yet, like St Peter, I was having the worst time of my career. Feeling like a complete failure that first year, my nets were completely empty. I remember waking up in the middle of the night in April of that first year, in a cold sweat, screaming, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Of course, I didn't hate them, but I was so desperate and so empty that I was grasping at anything I could. So I turned completely to the Lord because I had no other choice. Jesus was all I had. That's when Jesus came to the rescue. With lots of prayer and with the help of my Jesuit superiors, I had a wonderful second year. And by my third year, I was begging my superiors to give me an unprecedented fourth year. It ended up being one of my favourite careers of my entire life. 
I loved being a high school teacher, but it all began with empty nets. It all began with finally turning over the nets to Jesus so that he could fill them up with his own grace. Father Mark concludes that when we have success, when we have lots of things that we can rely on besides Jesus, he is not able to do as much work in our lives. It is only when we are empty that he can do his greatest work. Father Mark challenges us today to reflect on a time in our past when we were empty and when Christ seemed to do his greatest work from it, when Christ seemed to fill our empty nets. Father Mark asks, When did Jesus rescue you from your metaphorical bad classroom year? Think back on that time in the past and ask yourself how this also might be happening here in the present. The very areas of our lives that we feel are empty, the low points in our lives right now. Perhaps if we rely on the Lord, we will find them full of his grace after he has finished speaking. Let us close by prayerfully reading our scripture passage once more.
After he had finished speaking, Jesus said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signalled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that they were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. Amen.